Assalamualaikum and hi to my students. Welcome to the chapter of polar coordinate for 3.2. From the previous lecture, you should be able to plot the polar coordinate. And in the previous lecture as well, uh, we already discussed that there are connections between the Cartesian coordinate and the polar coordinates. So, to recap, if we have point here of 3, 4 in terms of a Cartesian coordinate and we draw a straight line here with together a degree then there will be a right angle triangle which exists there so this is 3 this is 4 okay now we want to learn in this lecture is on how to convert a coordinate uh, in the Cartesian coordinate into a polar coordinate and also vice versa if you are given that so before uh, we proceed we would like to recall some of the trigonometry knowledge for example what is the length of r here by applying theorem pythagoras the the sum of the x axis here and also y x squared plus y squared equals to r squared you can know that so for the for this particular example what will be the value of r as 3 squared plus 4 squared equals to 5 squared so the r here will be 5 this example the polar coordinates will be 5 to a certain angle there you must also learn how to find the given angle and you try to recall back so Toa. So sine is the opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, and also the tangent opposite over the adjacent. The degree here can be seen, can be read as many things here. For example, sine theta equals to, for this example, okay, so opposite over hypotenuse we will be 4 over hypotenuse which is r 5 for the cos theta adjacent will be the value of x 3 over hypotenuse and lastly the tangent of theta will be opposite over adjacent 4 over 3 in the next fair several examples you can try to find the degree by various way you may find it by finding the inverse sign uh, cos uh, inverse cos and also cotangent okay so, so uh, I was already give you for this example the sine theta is uh, 4 over 5 so you just inverse sine 4 over 5 so the theta will be 53.13 degrees but please you also must know how to convert it into a radian it will be times pi over 180 it will be 0 0.2952 rad okay and so on if you find it by the uh, inverse cos as well it will also get the same example you should get the same example try to verify my statement just now
Therefore, when you already get this idea that the whole thing can be represented by a right angle triangle, uh, so in the given uh, slide is also the same. What I did is just I apply some value over there. Cos theta over is x over uh, r, which is actually the the value of x over the hypotenuse r, and it can be simplified into x equals to r cos theta, and it also goes for sine theta equals to y over r and then we can change into y equals to r sine theta okay i will skip the examples which has already the answers there let's focus on the one uh, which don't have the answer yet so first for this particular example find the rectangle of coordinates of p whose polar coordinate is 2 5 pi over 4 sometimes it's a good practice if you manage to plot it first because if you plot it then you can see uh, the right angle triangle associated to it okay 5 pi over 4 will be somewhere around here Okay, so this will be uh, r equals to 2 and the degree is degree is 5 pi over 4 now the problem right now is we want to find the coordinates in the form of rectangular coordinates or Cartesian coordinates so to recall if you want to find the value of x then it will be r cos theta and y will be r sine theta we have the value of r and we know the value of uh, the angle already so let's find one by one x equals to 2 cos theta 5 pi over 4 if you want uh, to represent in the radian make sure you put in your calculator in the mode of radian or else you need to change it first into a degree so 2 cos 5 pi over 4 will be 2 times negative square root 2 over 2 so the value of the coordinate of x will be negative square root 2 and same goes for y the difference is right now it will be the sine 2 sine 5 pi over 4 we will be 2 times negative square root 2 over 2 also it will be negative 2 ok uh, I write it wrongly here it will be negative square root 2 so the there you go. The coordinates of this in form of rectangular coordinate or Cartesian coordinate is this negative square root 2 and also negative square root 2. Okay, some points to ponder about. This is the first quadrant, the second, then third, and the fourth. Uh, for some cases eh, uh, why uh, the sine value here is negative and the cost will be negative okay uh, I just want to relate it with some of the teachings in trigonometry in the first quadrant um, I think this one is quite important for you to master is that for this uh, particular quadrant one the sine theta and the cos and also the tangent 
all of them are positive. For the second quadrant, only sign is positive. For the cos sign and also the tangent, it will be negative. The third quadrant, only tangent will be positive. Okay. Positive. And the sine and cos will be negative. Eh? And for the fourth quadrant, only the cos will be positive. Otherwise, for sine, it will be negative. And also for the tangent, it will be negative. So it might explain some of the condition that... Uh, some of the situation you will encounter later so for this case uh, the, the value of sign is um, negative and also the cosine is negative that represents that this degree uh, the angle will be on the third quadrant sine negative cos negative Okay, the angle. We want to find this angle and also the distance between A and the origin. So, why not we draw this one to represent a right angle triangle there. Okay. Here, from here we can uh, very quick to know the value of R by using the Pythagoras theorem. So R squared equals to 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. So it would be 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Therefore R will be plus minus square root of 2. We already know the value of R. How about the degree right now? And the degree, like I mentioned, you can use um, so, you can use chaf, you can use toa. And for this particular example, you can use, let's say I want to use uh, toa, okay? So tangent of this degree is equivalent to uh, tangent, eh? opposite over hypotenuse negative 1 over 1 so tangent equals to negative 1 you need to find the value of inverse tangent it will be theta will be if you put in the calculator directly I'm sorry if you put in a calculator 10 uh, negative 1 right it will be negative 45 degrees if you put into degrees if you put into a radian then it will be uh, negative pi over 4 And some of you might think um, this is 45 degrees that the, the actual that we write is um, not uh, 45 degrees eh? the blue color one if you read this carefully this is negative 45 degrees or negative pi over 4 so it means if we read from the horizontal axis x clockwise then it will be 45 degrees here or pi over 4 so the actual one the original one is will be uh, because this is in the fourth quadrant so you need to 360 minus 45 or you can do 2 pi minus pi over 4 
then you will get the actual answer so in the degrees it will be 315 degrees or in radian it will be 2 minus okay it will be 7 pi over 4 radian so to recap back this will be 7 pi over 4 okay please make sure uh, the the angle will be in radian because polar coordinate is represented in the radian form but in order for you to find it it's okay if you put it into a normal degree form first but remember to convert it into a radian back so uh, take a look at the whole answer here okay so uh, the skills that you necessarily need to get is to convert polar to rectangular and also from the rectangular or to the polar by utilizing the concept of right angle triangle i hope you do more exercise in the tutorial and we will discuss in a normal uh, live lecture uh, for the time being, I think it's uh, or, okay. okay. This one will be uh, for another lecture. We continue for the another lecture. See you again and uh, goodbye.